A Williamson County deputy was injured after a high speed chase ended in a violent crash. Our Matthew Torres live at the sheriff's office in Franklin and Matthew, the suspect hit speed. You were telling us earlier like 160 miles per hour. Yeah, 116 miles per hour on a 55 mile per hour speed zone. So we are talking about dangerous limits. Now, according to this copy of the affidavit report, it all started before midnight. Spring Hill police tried to stop the suspect, Thomas Thompson, for speeding, but when he refused, it started a high speed chase. The Williamson County Sheriff's Department had to step in to help out, and at some point, even in Spring Hill, he was spotted driving 95 miles per hour around other drivers. Authorities say Thompson continued north on Columbia Pike and tried to pass the driver in front of him. He ended up crashing into the cruiser of Deputy Robert Givens. Police say he stayed inside his vehicle. He smelled of alcohol and was very aggressive as he was taken into custody. Now, the cruiser also had some pretty significant damage to it. As far as Deputy Givens, he was sent to Williamson Medical Center where he was being treated for non-life-threatening injuries and has since been discharged. But as far as the suspect, Thompson, he he is now here at the jail facing a slew of charges such as two counts of reckless endangerments, two counts of speeding, two counts of driving without a license, one count of evading arrest and driving under the influence, which is his second offense. We're reporting live in Williamson County this morning on Matthew Torres, News Channel 5 HD.